welcome to the Super Boats 2023 Pro Wakeboard Tour Team Challenge. I'm Kevco running the show along with my boy Dano the Mano. We got our esteemed colleague Parks Bonifay down by the water with the riders today. We're gonna bring you all the action, camaraderie, and shenanigans surrounding this great event today. Yep, Kev, no doubt about that. Looking forward to the camaraderie out there on the water as you talked about. This is the most casual, the most fun event of the season. This is gonna close it out here on the Pro Wakeboard Tour. Let's kind of break it down. The vibe down at the dock, absolutely unbelievable. But what we've done is we've taken the top seven overall scoring riders in the Pro Wake Tour from this past season. We've allowed them to pick a team. Each team is three people, which consists of one male rider for boat, one female boat rider, and a double up rider as well. Yeah, lots of these teams are so stacked. I'm interested to see what Luke is gonna be doing both on and off the water. You know, I like uh, Corey Shoda and Mary Morgan Howell. They're gonna come out ripping. And we got the goat of all female uh, competitive riding, in my opinion, Dallas Friday. So it's gonna be a lot of things to watch for today. That's right, Kev. Well, let's check in with Parks Bonifay down at the dock. The women are getting ready to ride. Yeah, thanks guys. I can feel it down here. The energy is crazy. The riders is assembled with their team captains. Oh, man. Teams are on point today. The energy's high. Camaraderie is absolutely redlining. And I have to wonder, who's taking this thing down today? Oh, yeah. Looks like everyone wants a piece of this today. Back to you, boys. As Park said, we are kicking off this event with the women's division. The women's format looks like this. Each rider will get two passes with three tricks per pass. That's a total of six tricks being judged. The rider gets one pickup after a fall. If they have a second fall that time, they are done. Yeah, Dano, Mackenzie McCarthy will be followed by Tara Mikasich, Kiara Virag, Mary Morgan Howell, Megan Ethel, Dallas Friday, and Jamie Lopina rounding out the field today. All right, well, here we go. Our first rider, Mackenzie McCarthy, is on the water. Let's take a look right here as she gets set to throw down her first three tricks of her run. Frontside approach, there's a toe 540. That's one and a half rotations right there. Taking off regular and landing with that switch foot in front. Now from the opposite side of the wake, take a look at that cap going high risk, high reward, throwing a front roll into that backside 180. It's the Tootsie Roll, but unfortunately it takes her down. Yeah, and that's the hard uh, part about wakeboarding as we look at the Roswell replay. Uh, the trick was executed well, but man, catching that edge is never a fun experience. And uh, unfortunately, Kenzie just going down on that second trick. All right, Kev, well, she's coming back through for pass number two. She had one fall there in pass number one. And so losing some real estate right there. But if she goes down again here in this second pass, her run is going to be done. Yeah, she's really got nothing to lose here. So she's just going to come out strong and firing edging in hard on the heel side edge. That's a handle pass KGB, very technical maneuver. Popping it to the switch stance position. Edging in heel side for a switch heel side five. Splashing the drone a little bit and going down, unfortunately, for McKenzie. Yeah, but let's take a look right here at this Roswell replay, that handle pass KGB. You see a lot of the other female riders wrapping up for this trick, but she cuts in with so much confidence. She gets that handle pass, smooth landing. Great work right there from Mackenzie McCarthy. All right, everybody, our second woman here in this pro women's wakeboard division representing for Team Luca Kid. This is Tara Mikasich. Yeah, here you see her wrapping the rope around her body. That means we're gonna probably see an invert with a spin, edging hard on her heel side edge, starting out with the wrap KGB for her first trick. Cutting in on her toe side edge now, coming in strong for the front roll, landing super clean. Remember, each rider gets three tricks per pass, so there's no big rush to get these tricks in. But now Tara's edging out again, wrapping the rope the other way around her body, cruising in on the heel side edge. Good pop and very clean heel side 540. I hear some hooting and hollering from Luca Kid on the shoreline. Absolutely. Well, going back to the Roswell instant replay, let's focus in on that heel side wrap 540. As she comes off that wake, everything just comes together. She gets the spin, perfect execution, even smoother landing, and a great way to cap off that KGB front roll combo. Three tricks really working for Tara right here. 
All right, O'Brien team rider, Tara Mikasich, looking real comfy on her board today. Edging out wide, waiting for the rope tension to clear. Cruising in on the toe side edge for an off axis toe side 540. Going way out the back on that. Coming in heel side edge for an indie tantrum, getting a good grab on there. And now this will be her last trick of the run. So it's very important that she ends off strong. I hear Luca still hollering on the shoreline. Such a great team captain. And Tara comes in for a toe side crow mob attempt. That's a toe side front flip with a 360. Very tough trick. And uh, just going down at the end, but I like how she laid it on the line. Well, once again, back to the Roswell replay right here and an unfortunate fall on that crow mob, but some great work from Tara Mikasich, no doubt. Got Tara Mikasich second off the dock for the ladies in the team challenge today. Uh, did Luca's yelling on the dock mess you up? It had to. I literally heard him and I was like, nah, he's on my side. Like, no, Luca's not. like, you got this. He was like, listen, literally before we went in, he's like, do what you're gonna do, but like, just like get five or six tricks. Do your do your chromo at the end, but like, do like land your stuff. When you landed your hill five down there, Luca's voice pretty much popped out of his trachea on that one. So you got uh, the probably the best moral team support with uh, Legit the best moral team support, like. Slight advantage, <laughs> slight advantage goes to these guys. Back to y'all. All right, coming to us from Milano, Italy right now, doing it for Team Sam Brown. She's a European wakeboard champion from Lake Como. This is Chiara Virag, wide and outside the wake as she takes that approach up over, around and in, and there's the wrap, KGB. All right, second trick. Coming in smooth, in rhythm, for a handle pass KGB. That's uh, starting off with two bangers there. Popping the board around, wrapping up. Coming in for the heel side 540, landing in, in some rollers, and a uh, great first pass. Some smooth tricks right there, but let's go back to the Roswell replay right here and go back to the beginning of the run, starting off wrapped up, going KGB, coming back from the opposite side of the wake, Doing it from the switch dance, so regular and switch KGBs, one with the wrap, one without, from Italy's Chiara Virag. All right, Chiara coming in for pass number two. I'm excited to see what she's gonna put down after that very impressive pass number one. Cruising in on her heel side, four of 540. A heel side, front side, 540. Little edge back on the landing, nothing too critical, but the judges have to look at everything out there on execution. Uh, there's a tantrum that's a backflip. So after those two tricks, I think she's gonna want a little bit of a hammer here to end out her run. She's just navigating the roller set. And coming in toe side for the Tootsie Roll. That's a front flip uh, with a 180 included, and she's super stoked on that run, Dano. Once again, back to Roswell replay right here. And starting off that pass, a smooth progressive edge into that wake, keeping speed all the way up and through the wake. A nicely executed 540 degree spin. Great way to start off uh, pass number two and standing it up all the way through from Kiara Virag. Probably the biggest trick landed in uh, the women's round so far. Tootsie locking it down at the end. Did you hear your team uh, making some noise for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was so rolly out there, but amazing feeling, so I'm really happy for my run. Well, you persevered. You're, you're small in physique, and you didn't let them rollers bounce you around out there. And if they did, they bounced you the right way. Love to see it. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Back to y'all. The Supra is towing in Mary Morgan Howell. She is a bona fide superstar at this point, Dano. Taking a look at that, she starts off a run going upside down, getting a full grab on the heel side back roll. Right back over, in on the toe side edge. That's the Tootsie Roll right there, Cap. Going toe side front roll, back side handle pass, 180. Representing for her team, Showtime. Showed it to Zuka, and right there, just squeezing it around, getting that board back underneath her on the handle pass. KGB somehow just a little bit too much load on the line, snapping out of her fingertips. And uh, I wouldn't say she goes down, but with no rope, there's no hope. Mary Morgan is the ultimate wakeboard package, no doubt about that. And going into the wake, oh no, that toe side off axis 540, taking Mary Morgan down. And as we go back to the Roswell replay, you just take a look right here, just not getting a full piece of that takeoff. And uh, 
Couldn't quite get that board back underneath her to ride it away. An unfortunate fall right there. She's gonna be a bit disappointed. Right now, let's go down to the dock with Parks Bonifay. We are here with Mary Morgan Howe. Some uh, unfortunate uh, falls. You know, is it the team uh, atmosphere that makes it a little ner nervous? Did you just hit a couple wet spots out there? What went down? Hey, no, I don't want to blame anything on anybody else. It's my fault. But hey, this team aspect is amazing. As y'all saw, my team just came up, gave me the biggest hugs. They're so supportive of me, but now I put the pressure on them to win it for us. Plot twist. Plot twist. Here we go. <laughs> Back to y'all. This is main event Megan Ethel. All right, Megan coming in rap. This is a seven time world champion we're looking at here for the rap KGB. Uh, asking for a little boat speed adjustment. Uh, that's what, you know, this long course length and only three tricks allows you to do. Toe side, nose grab, 540. Megan's also in the GOAT conversation for sure. Um, she has so many accolades and uh, she just keeps going on a run, man. And toe side off axis 540, just casing the second wake and going down, Dano. That's right, well taking a look here at the Roswell Instant Replay, we won't focus on the fall, but we will focus on that wrap KGB. You just look at the power, the poise, and the execution from Megan Ethel, everything just coming together and that's the way you want to start a ride. Megan loves the wrap tricks. Those tricks allow you to grab your board longer and that was a tootsie roll with a grab, a nose grab on that trick you won't be seeing many other riders doing it in that fashion. And there is a heel side back roll. I think she was thinking roll the blind there. Um, so the judges are looking at, you know, what your intent is on a certain trick, but she'll get credit for a back roll. Now coming in wrapped and uh, getting the nose grab on a switch heel side 540. Back to instant replay here. What a run, but the standout trick of pass number two was that wrapped nose grab Tootsie Roll. Once again, just taking that beautiful edge into the wake as she pops off. You see her get a full piece of that grab. She gets the entire rotation and the landing. Hey, right now, let's see what Parks Boniface got to say down at the dock. We got Megan Ethel, arguably one of the best women's rough riders out there. It looks like you was bouncing around pretty good, uh, but you still got some uh, lockdown tricks out there. Rap Hill 5, nose grab, clean as always. How'd it go? Yeah, I mean, I would have loved to have just laid it down for my team, um, but hey, I'm still stoked to have fallen and made like a pretty good recovery and try to get all the grabs on my tricks. Like that's always the goal and you know, it's fun. This event is just, that's what it's all about. It's just the camaraderie and the good times. Megan Ethel putting the team on her back, riding down and back. Back to y'all. On the water, a young lady who needs no introduction at all. One of the mainstays in our sport and a future Wake Sports Hall of Famer, no doubt. This is Dallas Friday. All right, Dallas edging in hard, wrapped. KGB, dang, just going down, getting stuffed off the wake. I think these conditions are coming into play. You can see that flotilla out there. There's boats cruising around. That's very uncharacteristic for Dallas. Wow, what a digger from Dallas Friday, but getting right back up here, Kev, and knowing Dallas like I do, this is gonna do nothing more than fire her up. Dallas comes in wrapped and stomps the KGB. Very clean for her. Cruising back in toe side. Big front roll. Definitely getting two tricks in after a fall was big for her. Well, going back to the Roswell replay, it took her down as she cut in right off the get-go, but she got back up with a ton of confidence, wrapped right back up, and cranked it out. There was the wrap KGB and landing it with some authority. Here we go, the boat's coming back through Dallas Friday, setting up for pass number two. So she was still able to squeeze in two tricks in pass number one, Kev, but as she sets it up, she lines it up. Let's go, pass two, Dallas Friday. Strong heel side edge, and just going down. It was a heel side back roll. I know she wanted something different out of that. Well, coming to us originally from Manuka, Illinois, she now lives down in Orlando, Florida, and represents for Supra Boats, Ronix Wake, and Marine Products. This is Jamie Lopina. Let's go. <laughs> Here she comes in on her toe side edge for a super clean front roll. That's a rhythm trick. That's a good starter trick. 
and uh, edging in heel side now. Jamie is a goofy footed right foot forward rider. Nose grab 540, you see she gets that hand on the nose solid. The judges are taking notes of every little nuance. And now Jamie cruising in switch heel side for switch heel side five, perfect first pass. Uh, super clean for Jamie. Well, taking a look right there at the Roswell instant replay, uh, you gotta take notice that heel side, front side, 540, getting the full nose grab on it. You gotta wonder if she wanted to take that to 720, but a clean landing nonetheless, backing it up with a switch heel side, 540. Great ride, great first pass from Jamie Lopina. All right, Ronix team rider coming in for pass number two. She is wrapping the rope around her body. This will probably be some type of invert um, with a rotation. It is the wrap KGB, maybe not getting all the pop she wanted. Sometimes that first trick is a little difficult as the wake is still getting established. Jamie coming through on her toe side for a toe side 540. This is a super team rider who has accomplished tons and she is definitely not done. Uh, the last trick, Chromo just going down scaring the drone pilot, Brandon Thomas, but that's a trick that really, really would have helped her advance and uh, it's keeping things close here. Right now, back down to the dockside area, Parks Bonifay, who you got? Common mistake for Jamie Lapina, going too big. That's what you do. You know, sometimes I just can't help it. It's in the blood. It's in the blood. Today it hurt me, didn't help me. Looks like you had some solid passes down there. You just went down on the chromo at the end, but your team, uh, they were jazzed up. The vibes were high on the dock. And I've talked to some other teams, and y'all, uh, seems to be the word on the street, y'all might be the biggest threat, you, Jake, and Ty, so. I like hearing that, you know, after I've ridden. Yeah. The, the, the pre-ride, I was gonna break a little. Yeah. My team's vibes were high. They were like, have fun. I was like, you have fun when it's your turn to go off the dock. But, uh. Now you can relax. Yeah, see, now I can go and chill, and they have to, do their turns and see how chill they are. Pressure's on you, boys. My, Jamie's done. I'm pressure on my own team. <laughs> she does best. <laughs> yeah. That deal. Hey, thanks, Parks. Hey, that's going to do it for the Pro Women Wakeboard Final. Some great performances across the board. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back with Pro Men Wakeboard Action. Welcome back to the 2023 Pro Wakeboard Tour Team Challenge presented by Supra Boats. We got big festival vibes escalating on the shoreline here. We're awaiting the Pro Men's Division. Well, let's take a look at some of the highlights from Pro Women. That's right. Well, in the results category here, we've got Dallas Friday in the bottom spot. Mary Morgan Howell just ahead of her. Mackenzie McCarthy and Tara Mikasich. But let's break down the top three. Jamie Lopina representing for team Tyler Hyam in third place, in second place right now for team Kai Ditch, Megan Ethel, and representing for super team rider Sam Brown's team, Kiara Virag, taking the win in the pro women's division. Yeah, definitely a surprising finish there. However, Megan Ethel and Jamie Lopina still scored points for their respective teams. But let's see what PB has to say down by the water. All right, we got Kiara here on top right now for the women's, followed by Megan Ethel and Jamie Lapina doing it for Sam Brown's team. Y'all won this last year, correct? You got to be pretty psyched on uh, how the performance went. Oh, my God. I mean, the team morale is already building, and I'm getting way more nervous, and I think Ulf is too for the next ride because Kiara just laced it up there, and... Um, no, nah, I mean, we couldn't be looking any better right now. now your run was uh, super sick. What'd you do is you, you, did a, you did a wrap KGB and then a switch, handle pass KGB, followed by a tootsie roll on the end, locking it down. How'd it feel out there? I'm really happy for my run. I feel it so comfortable and confident, yeah. so let's just do it. <laughs> Absolutely. You got to be psyched, Sam Brown. Oh, some heavy hitters coming next. We got, pro, we got pro men starting right now, getting on the water. Back to you, boys. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into it. We are back here, the Supra Boats Pro Tour Team Challenge on the water right now. We are getting into it. We've got our Pro Men Wakeboard Division. Each rider gonna get two passes with three tricks per pass. That's a total of six tricks that are gonna be judged. Uh, the riders get one pickup after a fall, Kev, and after that second fall, they are done. The first athlete we've got here in this pro men's division from Mabane, North Carolina, a past PWT Rookie of the Year, super athlete, the 2020 Wakeboarding Magazine Checkout Award winner. This is Finn Bullock. Yeah, Dano, Finn was a super grom and now he's a bona fide 
Pro Men's Charger. There's a wrapped KGB 540. Getting a nose grab in there, I believe. Uh, coming back in on his toe side. Ah, uh, looked like a, a bailout of some sort, but he still got in, uh, I guess you call that a scarecrow maneuver. Front roll with a front side 180. Water conditions looking pretty good, especially for a Saturday out here. Wow, it's a very interesting uh, Pete Rose style trick. Yeah, that's right. As we go back to that Roswell replay, uh, finishing off that run, cutting in toe side, spinning that board around 360 degrees. Just take a look at how he grabs it, making it unique, making it his own. Solid action right there by Finn Bullock as he comes back through for pass number two, putting our eyes back on the water. That Supra SA550 powered by Inmar Marine. Supra team athlete, this hybrid rider, whether it's under the cable, behind the boat, or on the snow, if he's on a board, you better watch out because Finn Bullock is in the Ooh. house just like that. Heel side, front side, 900. Yeah, I believe that was switch for him too. Uh, coming in toe side. For toe side 1080, Dano, was that a toe side 1080? Kev, you gotta be kidding me. Toe 1080 out of nowhere right there from Finn Bullock. Absolutely unbelievable. And he's still got one more trick to go to finish off this run. He's wrapped up for the assist. It's gonna be a heel side approach, but man, oh man, what a way to kick off this run. Take a look Woo. right there, spinning it around. KGB 540, absolutely unbelievable from Finn Bullock Womble, but walk us through this 1080 here on the Roswell replay. Oh man, well you gotta understand this is one of the most technical tricks in wakeboarding. This is three full revolutions starting on the toe side. So many handle passes involved and it's such a hammer trick to put in the middle of your run. Uh, it takes a lot of rhythm and phew, a lot of uh, high-end skill, uh, so the bar is set really high from the get-go today. Well, congratulations to Finn Bullock. What a run, what a ride, but right now <laughs> let's go down to the dock with Parks Bonifay. Finn Bullock putting all the pressure on the boys. First off the dock, wrap KGB5, switch wrap KGB5, toe side 1080, bolts and hammers. Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely pretty hectic out there. It was pretty rolly, but man, that was such a fun run. I was just going through like, all right, just breathe, like you got it, it's rolly, you know how to do this though, like all same tricks, and man, that super held up so nice, so I got some clean hits, and I'm just thankful I made it back with six, even though I had like one little bobble in there, but everything else felt money, and stoked on it, stoked to be a part of the team, and thanks Supra for putting on this event, and Liquid Force, and all my sponsors, PB, for being the best commentator, but. <laughs> yeah, man, well done, you uh, you put a lot of pressure on the boys, that's all you, uh, that's all you can ask for first off the dock, you know? Yeah, no, first off the dock, I honestly kind of like going first off the dock because I don't have any expectations or pressure. I like to just ride and do my thing, and that's when I know I do my best, so definitely happy I got to go first. Saddle up, boys. Finn on top right now. Back to y'all. Hey, one of the most talked about athletes out of last year's Supra Pro Tour Team Challenge from London, England. Here he is, loose Luca kid on the water. This dude is one of those guys who, when he's doing those tricks, not the easiest to call because he does them so unique in his own way. Right there, kicking it off with that Chromo 540 and then popping into the wrap right here. This is gonna be an assist on his next trick right here as he cranks up over and around. There it is, Moby Dick 540. That's a tantrum with that backside 540 right there. He utilizes that handle around his back, that wrap as we say, to get that grab for an extra long grab. And there you go, front side 720. Great ride right there. Three awesome tricks from Luca Kid. Yeah, Dano, super clean as well. Let's take a look at that wrapped heel seven, just going up, everything in control. And look at the way he lands. Uh, his landing had a lot of poise, control, and that's what the judges are looking for. And now it's time for him to shine once again right here in this Pro Men Final. Heel side approach wrapped up going backside 720. And you take a look at how he came in with that melon grab on the back edge of his board and just holding it out, styling it out. Look at that, Luca asking for it from the crowd. Heel side cut into the wake. Oh, going for that heel side roll to reaver and then rewinding out absolutely unique right there to Luca. Unreal riding and he's got one more trick here to finish off pass number two. Hillside approach wrapped up. There's a KGB 540. 
that back roll, utilizing that wrap to spin himself in that unnatural 540 degree direction. Yeah, Luka kid, he had Tara Mikasic place in fourth in the women's division, so his team has already got some points. Luka's adding a lot more points to his team total. Hey, a lot of camaraderie going on down at the dock. Let's check in with Parks Bonifay. Luka kid, laying it down like everyone else thought you would. Uh, it's bumpy out there, but you're a thick kid. Yeah, I'm thick. And no one for extremely analytical situations, being realistically on the tricks you choose and the teammates you choose. Can you walk us through not just your run, but why and how you chose your teammates? Well, to be honest, it started off, I thought I was going to be Ty's second play, uh, second rider, and then that didn't happen. So I was like, all right, kind of, kind of got a bit of a time squeeze here to find a team. Right. I, I knew who the GOAT was. Tara's the GOAT, you know. She went out there, she fucked. She put it down, got a solid fourth place. Absolutely. Stoked with how she did. I'm stoked on her. And then I got Shion, the the phenom from Japan. No one knew who he was. No, everyone's starting to learn the name, and he's gonna go bang the dub and seal it for us today. I mean, strategically across the board, you think uh, you realistically have a chance of winning this today? Honestly, yes, I do. And if you're not, if you're not having a chance, if you don't think you got a chance, then why the hell are you even here? You know, you got to go all out. I'm honestly just happy I didn't like last year. So to everyone out there who saw that interview last year, um, I didn't do it this year, so fucking bang! I mean, we're pulling for you to do good, but we also, we kind of like to see you shit the bed a little bit too. I can you know? do a fake rage for you guys if that's what you need. I can totally do that. No need to fake anything. Fake rage. <laughs> All right, look again, back to y'all. All right, Durag Sam, ready to go, rock and roll. Into that wake, kicking off his run. There's a heel side back mob. And Sam always just getting so technical with his grabs, now putting the opposite foot in front as he cuts back and into the wake. There is a tantrum handle pass backside 360. Again, making each and every one of his tricks so unique to himself as he just gets his placement on those grabs so perfectly executed and makes it so technical. Heel side approach from the opposite side of the wake. There's a front side 720. Smooth moves from Sam Brown. As we go back to the Roswell replay. Yeah, what I'm looking at is his Moby Dick. Uh, that's a backflip with a 360 involved. Because Sam just really took that one straight up. Sam just going huge on that trick, making it look clean and getting those execution points. That's right. Well, currently Sam Brown's team, he is the captain uh, in the lead with the win in the pro women's division out of Kiara Virag. But Sam Brown, of course, no stranger to a podium himself. But let's check it out. Three tricks left to go, pass number two. Starting things off, so there's a front side 720. We've seen regular and switch 720s out of Sam Brown in his two passes now. Now getting that opposite foot in front, backing into the wake. Take a look at that, that's the fat chance. That's a switch front flip into the front side 360. Uh, one of the only guys in the game doing that fat chance right now. And he's got one more trick on the toe side approach and into the wake, up and all the way around. Would you look at that going chromo 720? A front roll and two full rotations going ole on that one. Amazing, I don't think so, Kev. That was unbelievable. Let's break it down in the Roswell replay. Yeah, we got to take a look at that switch front mob. Uh, Sam does this trick unlike any other riders on the planet. Um, just super stylish. Uh, it's a late spin on that, so it's that's why it looks so different. And then he does a nose grab, Chromobe 720. That's an absolute hammer trick for Sam Brown. Yeah, the action unbelievable on the water, but it's getting pretty intense on the dock. Let's see what Parks Bonifay has got to say. All right, we got Sam Brown keeping the fucking riding streak alive. This is a crazy little uh, final we got going down right here. Finn off the dock comes out swinging. Luca, did they kind of fire you up to go out there and uh, bang out a crow seven and the rest of the hammers you did? I mean, kind of. I'm just like, thank that that's over, and I actually made it back to the dock and the do rag and the do rag stayed on. Um, Ulf is going to put down a hammer to the flats in the uh, in the double up. So I, Sam I, Brown, I, no doubt that he's going to win that. Team too. Brown, looking like a repeat, looking like a repeat, possibly. Back to y'all. All right, well, Kevin, coming in as the 2022 Super Boats PWT Tour Champion, we've got Corey Tunison getting ready. We saw a 1080 out of Sam Brown. Will we see one out of Corey Tunison? 
It's only one more rotation off that. That's a heel side, front side, 900. But right now, he is back into position, and if it's gonna happen, this is where it goes down. Toe side approach into the wake, and there it is, another 1080 cap. I don't know how often or if ever we've seen that happen. Two back-to-back -back 1080s in a contest with the proper boat pass. He's gonna link it up right here. Heel side approach, back of the wake. There's the double half cab roll. And Corey Tunison, he is in the moment. He is en fuego. He is looking tough. Yeah, we are gonna have to take another look at that switch. Toe side 1080 in uh, the second trick in his run. Great takeoff. You can see he gets up there, like even with the drone. Um, good height. You can kind of tell he was gonna make this thing from the get go. That's how 1080s are. And Corey riding away. He added a double half cab roll after that. He is on a roll. There's no rider in the world who has landed more wake to wake 1080s in a competition than this man, Corey Tunison. Pass number two, he's cutting in, wrapped up for the assist, going backside 720. Two blind rotations right there uh, on that backside seven, and now bringing that board back around. Switch stance, heel side, big cut at the wake. Take a look at that, Woo! switch back mob 540, leaving room for that mute grab and holding it all the way through. This pass is certainly shaping up to be a heavy one as he cuts in for one final trick, switch toe side into the wake, up and around. They call that the Skeezer 540. That's a switch chromo 5. Yeah, we're taking a look at Corey's switch, mob 540. Um, grabs mute, takes it huge, and as you see as he comes around for the landing, he clears the second wake and lands on the flat. Um, man, Corey is looking in top form today. That's right, what a ride. Right now though, let's get back down to the dock with Parks Bonifay. Corey Tooney, that was a ridiculous run, man. You just fired up right now. Showed us how camaraderie's redlining right now, dude. You had no option but to go out there and just lay down a 10 and some other hammers. Yeah, dude, like honestly, this is freaking so sick. I'm having so much fun. Like. Everyone's landed down, obviously, but the fact that we're all just hanging out, talk really, yeah, and right. just having a good time, bro. I'm loving it. Can't get any better than that. All right, all right. Coming to us from Como, Italy, is our next rider. This is Massimiliano Pipperetti. Yeah, Massi was a little upset with his early exit at Pro Wakeboard Tour stop number four. Uh, but I talked to him after all that, and he said he's not gonna compromise his riding style. He's not gonna do tricks that he knows are just gonna get him through. He's gonna ride his way and his way only, starting out with a nose grab, pro mob, 540. Uh, Masi's got a unique style and integrity, and he's gonna stick to it, cutting in one-handed for the blind Pete Rose. That's a crail grab on there, backhand on the nose. I see many, uh, more than one junior pro men's rider also edging him with that unique approach. So Masi's influence is definitely strong. Coming in wrapped uh, for the wrap KGB. That's finishing off three strong tricks for Mossy, Dano. Yep, well going back to the Roswell replay right here, you'd see him coming in on this final trick wrapped up. It's the KGB 540. He spins it all the way around and uh, sticks that landing nice and clean. The one thing you know is when Mossy's on the water, the boys are watching. Let's take a look as we bring it back through. Pass number two. Here we go. Masi cruising in switch heel side for a 900. It's a front side rotation. Starting off switch heel side and ended up regular. Masi now wrapping up, coming in toe side, edging in strong for the toe side uh, rewind. That's a toe side backside three to one uh, rewind trick. Rewind tricks are just the flavor of the year, man. So many new variations. Masi coming in switch heel side again for the double half cab roll. That's two flips with a front side 180, grabbing mute. That's your front side between the boots. That's right. What are we gonna see here on the replay, Dano? Yeah, back to the Roswell replay. It's hard to pick a trick right here, but I wanna go to that double half cab roll. You take a look at Masi getting the entire grab, holding it all the way through, and just that landing absolutely bolts. Kev, he stuck it. Moss, you have, the, you have the game eye, the tiger eye right now, dude. You, you seem... Ah! Yes, huh? Feels pretty good, man. That was for my grandparents. Oh, straight up. Right here. Right here. Grandpa Angelo. Hell yeah, 
Dude, I had to do it for the team, man. Everybody went out and killed it in wild conditions. So I was like, better bring your A game, Piff. So just want to go free, baby. I've never seen a finals really like this where everyone goes out and lays down like literally the hardest run that they can almost do. It's kind of ridiculous, and you follow it up with a, with a solid one. Man, I'm just super stoked to be able to put that down. Everybody went out and killed it, absolutely killed it. So I just really wanted to go out there and just, you know, land some runs. And yesterday it didn't go my way. I kind of played it, I guess, a little bit safe. And uh, that was the judge's decision. So that kind of got me fired up for today. And I was like, better come out swinging today. So the man team's proud of you. Grandpa's proud of you. Nice work, Miles. I'm proud of you. You. All right, Wake fans, this is a run you're not going to want to miss. Super Boats and Ronix team rider Nick Rappa. He's actually riding for Jamie Huser's team because Nick missed some action this year due to a rib injury, but he is fully back. He was the champion at stop number four. Now he's coming in for his first pass here in the team challenge. Let's take a look as he starts off his pass going switch mode 540. And again, getting a full grab right there, going mute all the way around. Nick Rappa is a true contest machine. Kind of reminds me of a guy sort of like Phil Sovin, Dean Smith, and Darren Shapiro all wrapped up into one rider. As he cuts back over and in, there's a heel side, front side 900. Getting that board just back underneath his feet at that last possible moment. And he's got one more trick here to finish off the three trick pass. There's the double half cab roll. And wow, sketching out just a little bit on that trick, but most importantly, Kev, riding it away. Yeah, that's true. His first trick was probably his best, as we see on the Roswell replay. This is a switch. Mute is the grab that's back, uh, excuse me, front hand between the boots on the toe side rail. Up and over, it's an invert with a full 540 degree spin, landing clean. All right, well, the three-time overall Supra Boats PWT champion and the winner of stop number four of the 2023 season, super athlete Nick Rappa coming back in. Here we go, guys. Press play. Let's go. Toe side, there's a big 900. Two and a half rotations. Not quite the 1080 that we've seen out of a couple of other riders already today. History, no doubt, going down out here. As he cuts back over, there's the double Indy tantrum. Two flips and one jump. Uh, absolutely perfectly executed right there. What a trick for Nick Rappa. And one final maneuver here to finish off his run, his second pass. It's going to be a regular approach on the front side edge from Nick, going toe side into the back side 360. And Kev, you almost never see him go down on that blind Pete Rose. What happened? Uncharacteristic for sure. But let's take a look at that indie double tantrum. It's one of the hardest tricks you'll see in pro men's. Boosts off the weight, grabs Indy between the boots with his backhand, and just two straight over flips. The landing's the hardest part about that trick, but Nick always finds a way to ride away. All right, well, he is the final rider of this pro men's division here. Current reigning Alliance Rider of the Year, as well as the overall 2023 Pro Tour Champion. This is Tyler Hyam. Starting off with a wrapped three to one. That's a 360 uh, rewind to a 180. Solid nose grab on there. Tyler Heim, I really enjoyed his podcast um, on the Grab Matters podcast, just about his whole journey and how he's gotten to this point today. Uh, switch heel side 900. These are hammer tricks. Uh, Tyler's just really successful this year. This was his breakout year and he's not done yet, man. He's got a uh, third trick coming in on his first pass for another uh, regular heel side 900, Dano. That's right. Well, going back to that instant replay, Tyler Hyam bringing out that West Coast style with the East Coast tech. I love the way how he just combined back to back 900 degree spins right here. As you take a look, bobbleless, effortless, great action from Tyler Hyam. You can really see it in his riding. Let's go back to the water. Here we go, Kev. All right, starting off with a switch mute mob. Tyler Heim edges out wide, in wraps on his Ronix Supreme Pro model. Coming in wrapped heel side for the KGB 540. Super clean. What's uh, he thinking here? He's got one more trick left. Water conditions are great. 
Mossy just threw down right before him, so it's on here. I think we're gonna see a toe side, backside spin. Tyler pops big off the weight, gets nose grab for a toe side, backside seven. Absolutely unbelievable right there. Back to the Roswell instant replay. And as you can see him cut in, wrapped up on the toe side, that blind rotation, not one, but two full spins. Perfect execution from Tyler Hyam. Kev, what a run, what a ride. Yeah, let's send it down to Parks Bonifay, Dockside. Can we get a word with the champ, Tyler Hyam? That was a wild ass final. You've seen some finals go down in your day. How crazy was that? That was wild, definitely pretty wild out there. But it was good, like didn't get the run I was looking for down, but everybody killed it. Made it back to the dock, but had a few bobbles, couple of bailouts. So. Uh, what was some of the bailouts? You wanted to get a toe have, back nine? I wanted to do a toe back nine for sure, and the back mode was supposed to be double, but the wake just disappeared on me. Knew I wasn't going to get it around, so she decided to go 180 on her. And uh, apply a little strategy. We yeah, still got. You know, yeah, because you know Jamie did pretty well. You know it's a team event here, so you know you got to just put something on the board. Everybody killed it, so I knew it wasn't worth the risk. Yeah, you almost got to think about your other teammates. Jamie yeah. did really good. You still got Jake hitting yeah, double you ups. Give Jake so. a chance, you know. Got to give Jakey a chance. So at least made it back to the dock. Couple bailouts, but it is what it is, and stuck to start drinking. There we go. The floor is set. Possibly some winners right here. Team Hiam. Thanks. Back to y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to the Super Boats Pro Wakeboard Tour Team Challenge here on Fort Loudon Lake in Tennessee. We just finished the Pro Men Finals. We're going into the double up, but Dano, let's check out some of the standings so far. All right, we'll break it down real fast for you out of the Pro Men Wakeboard Division. Here's the results. The top seven, Nick Rappa, Tyler Heim, Sam Brown, and Finn Bullock. And rounding out the top three, it's going to be Luca Kidd in third place. Second place was Massey Pifferetti. And again, bringing back that wake to wake 1080, Corey Tunison. But here's our team breakdown for you, Kev. Uh, team Huser, Team Bullock, Team Hyam, and Team Kidd, but our top three teams. Team Shorta Tezuka in third, Team Sam Brown in second place. And one of the stories of the day unfolding right now. Team Kai Ditch holding down the first place position. Yeah, that's right. I know we're going to see Shota go to the moon on these double ups. He almost landed a heel 10 at Pro Wakeboard Tour stop number three off the double up. Uh, the Ditch brothers following up after that and their teams are number two. Kai Ditch's team is in first place right now. So let's kick it down to Parks Bonifay, see who he's down with by the dock. All right, thanks guys. I'm here with Team Ditch right now, currently overall sitting first place 10 points above second. Mossy, you got a second. Megan, you got a second. Delivering, setting the stage up for Kai. I couldn't think of a better double up hitter to come in and uh, and uh, pulls this thing through for the team. What you uh, what you got lined up? I mean, these they just can lay it down, so I just gotta go. It's looking a bit rough, but I think I got this little double up. Get a couple, get a little scoring, hit a double up, risk a bit more. Hopefully land it, get that dub, get that money, get the team on top, you know. You a go. bit of pressure, you know, they just, I don't know, I talk with them, they just laid it down. <laughs> well, I've seen the bit, uh, Ditch Boys, uh, <laughs> I've seen the Ditch Boys pull through on some pretty gnarly stuff. When your back's against the wall, you deliver. Double ups are coming now. Team Ditch currently sitting number one. What's going to happen? Back to y'all. Welcome back to the Super Boats Pro Wakeboard Tour Team Challenge here on Fort Loudon Lake in Tennessee. The Pro Men Finals just went down. We're heading into the double ups, but let's go over some of the standings. That's right, Kev. Well, let's start off with the Pro Men wakeboard results. The top seven, Nick Rappa in seventh spot. Tyler Hyam, number six. Number five was Sam Brown. Number four was Finn Bullock. And your top three, Luca Kidd, Massey Pifferetti, and Corey Tunison, which means right now our top three teams are Team Shota Tezuka, Team Sam Brown and Team Kai Ditch in the lead. Well, let's send it down to our handsome co-host, down by the water with Team Tezuka, Shoda, Corey, and Mary. All right, guys, I'm here with Team Tezuka, currently third place, 15 points behind Team Ditch right now. Mary Morgan with a couple falls early. Corey Tunison with a bounce back performance. First place in the men's wake. That was a crazy final. Dude, that was wild, bro. Literally one of the gnarliest finals we've seen, and the conditions are super crazy. So, like, dude, this is the sickest thing ever. I haven't competed in this event in years, and I'm having the best time. Well, it, look, it looks like y'all have a good uh, look at possibly winning this thing, but you know what? It all comes down to my favorite discipline, the double up. Where contests are won, where contests are lost, it all goes down now. Boys are getting out of the water. Simulation passes finishing up. It's go time. Back to y'all. Get your knee braces on. 
All right, everybody. Well, here we go, and here we are on the water with the Pro Men Double Up event. This is Fort Wayne, Indiana's Thomas Herman going to be kicking things off. Oh, man, we all know what Thomas has been working on at home. This is late August. That means triple up season for Thomas Herman. Water conditions stand pretty good, especially for early afternoon on a Saturday. The winds are light. Look at Thomas. He's eyeing up his double up. This is a great drone angle from Brandon Thomas. Thomas e Herman edges in strong for a double roll with a nose grab on there, just going down. Yeah, that's right, Kevin. Let's take it back to the Roswell replay right here. You see him teeing it up and just exploding off the wake. It looks like everything is perfect, and upon landing, maybe just a little bit too much load on that line, pulling him over the front and submarining down. It was a great effort, but it's gonna come down to double up number two. It was an unfortunate fall in that double back roll, but it was absolutely huge. Kev, what do you think? Are we gonna see him go for that one more time? I think Thomas is definitely gonna go for a triple here, and this would make history. It's been many years since Cody Hess has landed the first triple flip on a wakeboard. Cody's was off a kicker. Thomas would be the first ever triple flip on a wakeboard off the boat wake. He's using the double up here, getting in clean for a nice big double back roll. Maybe he wasn't thinking triple, but if he was, maybe he didn't get the pop he wanted, but still, that's gonna place really high. That's a clean uh, nose grab, double back roll for Thomas. Got a man, Thomas Herman, first rider off the dock in the double up division. Man, those were some beasts of uh, some back roll attempts. Walk us through those two. That first one was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that first one, I, uh, well, I mean, I was trying to do a double nose back roll. I did one the other day that was so perfect, so clean. Um, unfortunately, the first one completely missed the grab. Just trying to hold it out at the end, just to, like, right. get some points on the board, still do a double, then just caught the nose. Um, yeah, and that then, ball was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the that, whole rider's yeah, tape went nuts. Yeah, that one, that one rung the head for sure. Um, then second one, I got, Touched the nose off the off the first flip and then just slipped the grab. So well, you know, a lot of riding, you know, it's it's led up to this, and you put it down. You actually stuck one. So. He blew it, dude. He blew it. I oh, love him. God, I, normally, I normally love him, but I hate him today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting ready. Our second double up rider of this double up final comes to us from Japan, and he's the only junior pro rider who is invited to be a part of one of the teams out here. Shion Takaiwa. This kid has a huge opportunity on a major league stage here as he comes into the double up for a huge heel 720. Uh, super psyched on that. Got a grab, maybe two in there. Yeah, we'll keep going back here to the Roswell instant replay. As you see him cut into that wake right there, flattens out that board in the air. He spins it twice all the way around, a full 720 degrees styling it out with the grab. Great work right there. The young rider from Japan, the junior pro, Shion Takaiwa. Coming in for double up number two. He stood up a heel side 720 on that first take at it. Let's see if he can step it up right here. Maybe take it another 180, maybe even 360 degrees. The wakes come together and check that out. Going 360, rewind, backside 180. Three, two, one, let's go, Shion Takaiwa. Yeah, right on, Dano. Let's check out the Roswell replay. Uh, this was super stylish. He performs the full 360, grabs stale fish, that's backhand between the heel side edge of his boots, and then rewinds it uh, to backside 180, super clean. All right, well, we're gonna go down to Parks Bonifay, hanging out with the riders by the dock. I'm here with Shion, busted out a pretty steezy uh, Melon 7 on that one. Loved it, how'd that feel out there? Well, so it's nice. It's a good feeling. I'm happy to be here. He just said like he was just stoked that he could uh, land that double grab hill serve and he's just stoked to be out here with everyone riding and just being a part of it today. Nice. Well, congratulations, Shion. Your team did very well, very well. Anything else you want to say to the people at home? He, he loves everyone, he loves his family, everyone back home in Japan and everyone here and he's stoked and thank you guys so much. That's teamwork, boys. I love it. Back to y'all. That's what it's about. All right, well, getting ready. Only 10 points behind uh, his brother Kai's team. Ulf Ditch is on the water right now uh, in the second place position. We'll see what he puts together. One of the best double up riders in the world. Doing it for La Familia and 
Kev right there not getting a piece of that double up, just getting a little scarecrow. Uh, everything looked perfect, but when it comes to a double up, you've got to hit that exactly perfect. But luckily for Ulf Ditch, it's going to be his higher scoring double up that counts. And Kev, we know that this kid is, in, is definitely capable of some unbelievable feats up in the air and off that double up. Yeah, it's a big time pressure moment for Ulf. His uh, team Sam Brown is 10 points behind the leader. This is Ulf's last chance to shine. After he missed the double up on his first attempt, you can see the rollers coming through. Ulf is lining that up, going huge for a big old dum-dum uh, to the flats, popping the handle because he had so much line tension, but you can see the air he got on that trick. One of the most unique takes on the dum-dum, absolutely massive right there. And if you're gonna go down, that's the way to do it. All right, well, three riders in, four left to go. This is Supra team athlete and the many time Japanese national champion, Showtime Shota Tezuka. Shota is edging out wide, coming in on his heel side edge for a big heel side. 900, I think he was going for the 1080, just pops a handle mid-air. Dano, let's check out the Roswell replay. As you see him progressively edging towards that double up and getting almost perfect connection, leading to absolute explosion off the wake. Look at how high he goes right there, Kev. That'll happen. That sets him up in a good position. He knows what to expect coming in for double up number two. We'll see it might come down to this, but it just shows you how important it is. His teammate, uh, Mary Morgan, took second to the bottom in her division, but with Corey taking the win in his division, that put them right back up into the running for this thing. Shota Tezuka, one, two and a half. Oh no, going down. Yeah, Shota comes off the double up clean. Uh, maybe he didn't get all the pop that he wanted, and it's kind of a scary situation when you're coming down. It's basically a bailout trick at that point, and you're landing, uh, knifing around on that rail, uh, flirting with catching that edge, but Shota's a big time rider, man, and it's just great to see him out here charging. I'm here with Shota Tezuka. Shota, I don't know how you go so damn big off those double ups, but every time you were in the pocket, uh, walk us through that last one. Were you nervous being the, as the last event and your team's in third? Oh, you know, yeah, definitely nervous. And then, you know, Corey put back in the action again. And so, you know, I was having a little bit of nervous, but, you know, I'm still trying to go as big as possible. But then, yeah, unfortunately, I got full. It, this is what the double up for, you know? It's just go big and then risk it for the biscuit, you know? Couldn't have not have said it any better, Shota. It's about squeezing that throttle. No room for sandbagging. And uh, that's what the double up's about. You and uh, you embodied it. Totally, yeah. Sure. Shota Tezuka, always going up. Back to y'all. <laughs> On the water now, folks, Kai Ditch. He's the twin brother of Ulf Ditch. They're from Argentina. Thankfully, Kai's got a little longer hair to make it easier for us commentators. There's the Supra Boats, SA550, all black in the front, blue in the back. Kai Ditch coming in for his first attempt at two double ups. From Buenos Aires, Argentina, team captain for Team Ditch. Currently in the lead right now, so you know that the pressure is on. As he connects into that wake right there, not getting a full piece of it on the double back roll. Thought there was some way he was gonna pull that out. That could be the lowest double back row we've almost seen anybody ever ride away from. Yeah, let's check out the Roswell replay. Again, timing is so critical on these double ups. He just misses the peak that he was going for and still tried to rotate around two rotations. Great effort right there from Kai Ditch, but this is gonna come down to double up number two, Kev. All right, Kev, if he can stand this thing up, he's gonna put his team back into an amazing position. One, two, count it, the Woo! double back roll. Getting the grab on that one, holding it all the way through. That is gonna be a great trick right there. Will it be enough to take the win in the double up division? Not quite sure. You see him in that double up, uh, going to the double flip, holding that grab, poking that foot out, styling it out, taking a difficult trick with that double flip, making it unique, making it his own. We'll see what happens next. We got the captain of Team Ditch, Kai Ditch. Last event, laying down the landing gear with a double back roll. This smells po like a possible victory, chicken dinner. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I guess we'll have to see, but I'm, I'm stuck. That, that's not what I was going for, but it's pretty easy to look it from here. Then when you get out there, it's really, really rolly. And like, if you ever hit a double up, you know how hard it is when it's rolling. But I'm happy I got that double back in the second hit. Like, 
I, I was pretty stuck. I was coming down. I was like, please land this. Right, you, you know, you, you can't let your boys down. Like, boys and girls, they yeah, yeah. they laid it down. So I had to I had to back them up. Yeah, well, we got uh, Jamie Huser on the water, one last rider, but it looks like y'all possibly taking this down. I've heard Mossy get loud before, but this could possibly be the loudest I've ever heard Mossy, and that's hard to say. Team Ditch currently sitting on top. Back to y'all. Now we have Jamie Huser coming in. His team is 60 points behind the leader. Uh, Jamie's got his work cut out for him, but earlier this season, we saw him hustle the entire pro men's field at stop number two, taking the win. He hustled me and Jake Pallott on the pool table last night. This dude's capable of anything. Talk us through Jamie's first double up, Dan. That's right, from Switzerland, the Swiss Super Rider 2022 U.S. National and Junior World Champion. And take a look at that right there. As we go back to the Roswell replay, you see him passing that handle behind the back. One, two and a half. And it almost looks like the rotation wasn't going to stop. He may have wanted the 1080. Great effort right there from Jamie Huser. Pressure is on, let's see what happens in double up number two. Coming off a great season here on the PWT, here in the team challenge for his second double up. He got a piece of it, but lost himself up in the air. Let's go back to the Roswell replay, break down what you just saw. Uh, I just saw something really incredible. If you look at the footage here, uh, Jamie flies through the air, loses the rope. The rope is your lifeline on these kind of tricks and somehow, found a way to make it back onto his board and land safe without the rope. That was an incredible bailout. Coming up next, down at Lake Ronix, the man known as Old Reliable, Jake Pollott, our final double up athlete of the day. That's right, Dano, here comes Ronix team rider, Jake Pollott, edging out, rotating the board to the switch stance position, coming in switch heel side, getting the nose grab on for a big, Heel side, front side, 900. Great first double up for Jake. All right, well, back to the Roswell replay. Anything but conservative right here on this heel side, front side, 900. Two and a half rotations right there. Textbook action. Great work on double up number one. All right, Jake Pilat, switch heel side. And Ooh. oh, going for the Osmosis 720 Seven. right there. And letting go of that handle, trying to recapture it in the air. You talk about high risk, high reward. That was a great effort from our final double up rider of the day, Jake Pilat, representing for Team Tyler Heim along with Jamie Lopina. Those guys currently tied up for the fifth place position. That first double up from Jake should certainly help. Jake Pilat, there's a reason why they call this guy Old Reliable because when you need him to pull through, he does just that. Clearly another example of your nickname today. Yeah, it was a, it was a fun one and we had Ty here strategizing the whole time for what was going on and so stoked to put down a heel nine we'll see where we end up i think it's going to be pretty close between everybody but yeah stoked to put that down it was hectic but good times yeah it looks like the the round before that the wake riding everyone laid down the craziest riding i've ever seen and then in the double up only a couple guys landed you kai maybe a couple other ones but pretty big shake up there and i mean i would hate to be a judge and i have really no idea which team's going to be on top what do you what are your predictions Man, I think Kai's team took the win overall, but from there, Ty's the points guy. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm pretty excited to find out, though, where things shake out because that was a hectic round and everybody threw down. Some people struggled. The whole day was just wild, so it's going to be sick. Yeah, Ty Tyler had his paper out, calculator, pencil going. <laughs> it's heated. <laughs> Back to y'all. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up on the water here at the Supra Boats PWT Team Challenge across the board. We saw some impressive performances in all three divisions, the pro women, the pro men, and of course the double ups to cap it all off. Why don't you break down some of the highlights, Kev? Yeah, sure. I mean, starting with pro men, there was such an elite level of riding that we saw there. Um, all seven riders slayed it. Uh, we saw two toe side 1080s in that round, which is just an incredible level that these guys are taking it to. We had a new face as a women's champion there. It was great to see the women part of the PWT out here today. And then the double ups, man. Two uh, double back rolls. Kai Ditch really had a lot of pressure on him because Mossy and Megan had taken uh, second places in both their events. So the pressure was on and Kai Ditch delivered. I got a good feeling that team has a really good chance to take the team title. If they do tonight, Dano, you can be assured that the roof is going to blow off of Calhoun's tonight at the after party. They're going to go mental and uh, it's just 
what a great day. I love the variety of events, uh, different competitors. Um, this just reminds me why we love wakeboarding so much because there's so many fun ways to showcase it and to enjoy it. Well, today could go down as one of the all-time greatest pro men finals, just like you said. Uh, I've got my money on Team Tyler Hyam. Jake Plott went out there off the double up, absolutely crushed it. The team all together with Jamie Lopina and Tyler, uh, great performances across the board. But right now, I want you all to stay tuned. We're going to walk over to Calhoun's over at the marina, and we'll be back to announce the final standings. Make some noise for Team Ditch, Ty Ditch, Two Tampi, Fishmental, and Bossy Pippery! I'm here with your winners, Team Ditch from the Team Challenge. Every one of these guys and girl laid it down today from double ups to your run to the craziest final. How did y'all get it done? I want the team captain's point of view. Well, I mean, the Ditch captain was the only one that underperformed a bit. So <laughs> I'll, leave, I'll leave the talk for these two guys. They, they killed it today. That's not true, man. Like, listen, uh, as soon as you picked me, I was just like, all right, man, I just got to I just gotta clutch up. And, you know, like, it was a crazy final, man. It was pretty rolly out there. And, uh, you know, everybody put it down. So I was just like, Meg was really close to me. He was like, hey, you're good. Like, just don't stress it. Go out there and have fun. And that's exactly uh, what we came to do. Uh, yesterday, it, actually, it didn't go my way. So, like, I had a, a bit of a fire inside of me, and I really wanted to to put it down and you know get get the last chance to bring this guitar or this banjo home to my father uh, that he really believed in me since the beginning and, and father and mother and uh, it, it just feels unreal so I'm super stoked and just being able to be with good friends and supporting each other it's such a cool event man because you know it's not about yourself it's it's just a it's just about like you know keeping it going and just having a good time and just support your friends and that's the best thing ever Seems like the camaraderie was like alive. The energy was like through the roof all day. Megan came through with a second. Mossy with a second today. And uh, I believe you locked down a first, a third or first. I'm not a judge. Thank God I'm not a judge. But this event is insane. Seriously, the camaraderie was through the roof. To see everyone out, to have a live crowd out there, it makes it all worth it. I loved it. The crowd loved it. Thank you all for tuning in to the Pro Wakeboard Tour 2023. Stay tuned to ProWakeboardTour.com and Pro Wakeboard Tour official on Instagram for all the info and updates. From Dan Omano, Kevin Michaels, and the Pro Wakeboard Tour on Parks Bonifay. We'll see you on the water.